Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Brief on this Thursday evening. The National Roads Authority has been constructing several new crosswalks between Georgetown and West Bay and have developed one new school zone. There are two new crosswalks on Northwest Point Road within the newly constructed school zone. The new school zone encompasses Wesleyan and Grace Christian Academy to accommodate traffic and to ensure the safety of students by giving drivers more time to be mindful of their surroundings and halt if necessary. Now the community is reminded of the 15 miles per hour speed limit within school zones. Motorists and pedestrians are asked to pay particular attention when traveling in these areas and are reminded to come to a complete stop when a pedestrian is approaching the crosswalk as well as to wait until they have fully crossed to the other side of the street. Pedestrians are also reminded to stop, look and listen to oncoming traffic before attempting to use a crosswalk. All crosswalks are expected to be complete over the next few months. Well, recently, the Ministry of Sports, Youth, Culture and Heritage invited the public to its third event in the Caymanian Proud Series. It all happened on Thursday, the 22nd of September. The event took place at the Marriott. The Honorable Bernie Bush spoke at the event as the ministry showcased Cayman's uniformed services. In the beginning of the year, we were able to acknowledge the enormous debt of gratitude we owe them at the National Heroes Day ceremonies. However, I take this opportunity to again thank our prison services, Coast Guard, Fire, Police, Regiment, Cadet Corps, and one of the biggest money earners, the Border Control, Customs and Border Control, for safeguarding us on a daily basis. The event included panel conversations throughout the day with uniformed services, including, as the minister mentioned, the police, prisons, regiment, coast guard, and cadet corps, and many more. Participants talked about the history, mission, and legacy of their organizations, while the public was able to learn more about job opportunities at the event. Let's take a look now at the forecast. Tonight we can expect partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers. Seas will be slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. The two-day outlook is for partly cloudy skies with light and variable winds from Thursday afternoon. That's due to a weak pressure gradient that's happening across the Caribbean region. The National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida is issuing advisories on Hurricane um, Ian and Tropical Depression 11. These systems pose no threat to the Cayman Islands. Now, for more information on local weather conditions, you can go online to weather Cayman Islands Weather Services Facebook page as well as, well as weather.gov. KY. And that's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a safe and wonderful night.